before we dive into this lesson, let us give gratitudes and acknowledgements to the divine forces that led us to this point. Kanyikenenu, the divine father. Kanyikenana, the divine mother. Kanyikeneke, the light within us. Kanyikenorye, the water within us. Kanyikenafo, the soil within us. Kanyikenenpo, the air within us. Kaikene ndi opo ndi mbo the first beings of the earth Kaikene ndi agade the second beings of the earth Kaikene ndi chi eno na chi our ancestors our ancestors that are in the ether field our ancestors that are in the ether that is ndichi enonachi our ancestors that dwells in ether aura that is the ether our ancestors that are in ijite aura ise ise This lesson is about Ikenga, the willpower, the cosmic willpower that dwells within us. That is Ikenga. Ikenga is your willpower, our willpower our motive force, our strength of movement, that is the power, the motive, the God. You ever, you know, like when you say, I have a God feeling, or when someone says to you, what gave you the audacity? Ikenga is the audacity, that is the willpower. Ikenga is the infinite energy force that is moving everything in the universe. The universe is in motion because of Ikenga. And this force is recognized as masculine in Igbo spirituality. In Igbo astrology, this energy force is Aries, Ikenga is the Chi of time, and the Chi of progression, Ijite, Aka. Ikenga is one of the most powerful symbol of Igbo people. Ikenga goes by many names. Ikenga is held as Odumije, the one that leads me, the one that leads us, the one that is always ahead. Ikenga is also held as Owata, that is the pathfinder, the one that unveils the ways. Kinga is also held as a galenabo in Afa. The oldest uh, artifacts of Ikenga, he was depicted as a man with two heads, one old and the other young, representing 
the old and the future. And also, this is why Ikenga is the god of time, the chi of time, and the chi of progression, and the chi of destiny, the chi of dexterity, and the chi of fate. F A T E. Ikenga is the son of Umbu. Umbu governs planet Jupiter. That's where that energy force comes from. Planet Jupiter. The Igbo ancestors says that a man is from Mbu. Mbu is also a name of a specific tree. And there is a saying that Osochuanwoke that is when a man is being chased the man runs to the tree of Mbu because Mbu represents the energy of a man it represents where a man comes from one of the oldest names of Iken guys Ike Ane that is the energy of the earth. The energy of the earth. Ikenga governs planet Mars. The planets are names of deities because astrology embodies astrolatory. Mars is the Roman god of war. originated from the Greek god of war, Ares. The Greco-Roman spirituality or their concept of divinities originated from Africa. Ikenga is Mars. Ikenga is the god of war and iron. Ikenga is also the chi of iron smithing. Ikenga is a king maker. Ikenga makes one a king. The sacred number of Ikenga is three. This is why Ikenga is also held as Omene To. Omene To. There are three major stages or three major principles of Ikenga. They are Ikenga Wonye. That is the Ikenga of a soul searcher. The, the second stage or the second principle of Ikenga is Odumija, Odumaga. That is the Ikenga of a persistent person, someone that is persistent in progression. And the third is Ikenga Ogaranya, Ikenga Ogaranya which is esoterically Ogaranya, that is the Ikenga of somebody that is wealthy, the Ikenga of somebody that is rich with knowledge, or the Ikenga of somebody that succeeded. So the three principles of Ikenga are Ikenga Wonye, Ikenga Udumija, and Ikenga Ogaranya. In astrology, Aries is Ikenga. The first sign of the zodiac is Aries, which is Mars. Mars, Aries, these are all embodiments of Ikenga. And Ikenga is from planet Mars. Basically, Mars can also be called Ikenga in Ibu, the planet known as Mars can be called Ikenga in Igbo. The zodiac in Igbo is called Uzoigwe, Uzoigwe or Uzoenu, that is the ways of the sky.
You see, Aries is called the ram. Aries, the ram. The zoomorphic form of Ikenga is a ram. We even have a saying that Ebunejisia Jogo, that is that the ram goes to fight with his head. Esoterically, it is explaining how one should work with his or her brain. You have to use your mind. You have to use your thought streams. You have to use your thinking faculty to face the world. As the chi of time, the solar Martian time system, Ikenga is the chi of the African New Year. Ikenga ushers in the African New Year, which starts in March. The, in the Gregorian calendar, the third month is called March. And the sacred number of Ikenga is three. In the Gregorian calendar, the day of Ikenga is Tuesday because Sunday is the first day. Esoterically, Sunday is the first day. The second day is Monday and the third day is Tuesday. Kemet Falcon Natar, known as Montu, is an embodiment of Ikenga Gompo, which is also the chi that ushers in the African New Year. Montu and Heru are embodiments of Ikenga. Montu is the Kush Kemet god of war. Montu is the chi of war. In Igbo spirituality and mystery systems, we have the story of Ndiagade, the ancestors of the day. Ndushiagade. They represent the ancestors of the day. And they came from Mars. Ndushiagede came from planet Mars. Ndushiagede brought civilizations to Earth. Ndushiagede brought technology to Earth. Ndushiagede, Mr. System is, is explaining the source of man. It is very important to note that there is no such thing called Western astrology. The so-called Western astrology is a reworking of the ancient Sumerian and Kush Kemet astrology. It is a remanifestation of it, a copying of it. And the Kush Kemet people, we are Africans that came from the west and southern part of Africa. It is safe to say that astrology originated from Africa. And this is why we see the 
elements and principles of our, of our spiritual systems all over the world. Because the world learned metaphysics and astrology from the Africans. In all the major Igbo artifacts of Ikenga, you will notice him holding a sword on the right hand and a skull on the left hand. And it is always wearing the ram's horn. You see, Ikenga, these are the three symbols of Ikenga. The ram's horn, the sword on the right hand, and the skull on the left hand. They are Mpikenga, which is the horns of Ikenga. Akani Ikenga, which is the right hand of Ikenga. And Akebe Ikenga. The horn represents the relentlessness of Ikenga. If you have ever seen a ram attacking, it will not stop until you fall on the ground. The horns represent the determination of Ikenga which is also why Ikenga is held as a Benedicia Jogo. That is that the ram fights with his head. The right hand of Ikenga holds the sword. The sword is always in the right hand. The right hand represents the right side of your brain, the rational part. The sword is used to, for clearing off anything that stands in your way. To success. Ake Be Ikenga, which is the left hand of Ikenga. The left hand of Ikenga holds a skull. The skull represents the, the template of your success, the framework of your success. The framework of a human being is the skull and bones. Holding the framework of your journey to success means that you have no fear. Ikenga is often depicted holding a skull, Obokorisi, on his left hand, and a sword, Maya, on his right hand. In simple terms, the skull represents the past, the aftermath of nature, while the sword represents the future. The skull represents mortality, matter, materialism, that which belongs to the earth, while the sword represents the weapon that creates the ways of the future, which is why Ikenga is held as Owata, the path to the spirit self, the pathfinder. Thus, Ikenga is the chi that holds the future and the aftermath in his two hands. This is the symphony of life. We have the future, then we have the aftermath, like spring and fall. We have our destiny. Our destiny is in our hands. Our dexterity is in our hands. This is why Ikenga is called Agalenabo, because he represents the dualistic aspects of nature. Esoterically, the hippocampus is Mpi Kenga, Mpi Amadioha, because Ikenga and Amadioha holds the same zoomorphic form. They they both have a ram as their zoomorphic form. The hippocampus, Mpikenga, is one of the most important parts of our brain. Africans are suffering from memory loss, which creates identity crisis. The hippocampus plays a major role in the formation, organization, and storage of new memories, as well as connecting certain sensation and emotions to these memories, the hippocampus acts as something of a shipping center, taking in information, registering it, and temporarily storing it before shipping it off to be filed and stored in long-term memory. This is also the reason why the main memory of a computer is called RAM. This is important to our ancestors because Losing your memory means losing your identity. We have a principle known as Mpikenga. 
as Itenga is the one that holds the key to what becomes of an individual. And your first Ikenga is Ikenga Wonye, which deals with the principle of having an identity. 